now we also need to add a bullet so let's go back to our level let's right click and create a blueprint class create actor class let's call it bullet underscore bp let's add a sphere to our bullet As soon as the bullet spawns, we want to move it in a forward direction, straight forward direction. So on the event tick of the bullet, tick is the function which is called on every frame. So every frame this will be called. So if I just write a print statement here and play, you'll have to place this bullet inside your level. If I press play, you'll see that hello, hello, hello is called every frame because we are calling this method on tick. So this is like an update method, which is called on every frame. So on every frame, we want to update the location of our sphere, add world offset. On every frame, we want to add some offset and we want to add that offset in the forward direction of the sphere. So let's get the forward vector. Now my bullet has also started moving. Let's also multiply it with a value. So let's create a variable named speed multiplier and then set it to float. Now let's multiply it with the forward vector. I can set the speed multiplier to 100. So now my bullet will start moving as, as soon as I play, you'll see that it moves. So yes, my bullet has started moving. Now let's do one thing. Now let's go back to our spaceship and we had another act, action mapping called shoot. So let's call so when the spacebar key or the shoot key, which we defined in the project setting here, when we press that, we should spawn actor from class. So this spawn actor method will attempts to spawn a new actor with the specified transform. It will make the bullet active at that point And then as soon as the bullet becomes active, it will start moving in the forward direction. So let's also specify at what point the bullet should spawn. So let's select a scene component here. Now the scene component is placed here. Let's drag it in front of the ship. So our bullet will essentially be fired from this location. Let's drag the scene component. Let's name it uh, bullet spawn point. Let's get the world transform. So we are getting the location rotation scale of this point. And then we are setting that to bullet. So as soon as our shoot key is pressed, this bullet BP will be spawned and it will be spawned at this location, which is this, this one. Collision handling override. Let's select this to always spawn or try to adjust location, but always spawn. So when there is an obstacle between this bullet and something else while spawning, it will just adjust its location and it will always spawn it. So if you just compile it, let's play our level. So if you press play, you'll see that our spaceship has started shooting bullets. So even if our spaceship is moving, the bullets are still coming from the same place. The reason for that is go back to spaceship BP. See this bullet spawn point is not attached to the spaceship static mesh. So what we are going to do is just drag and drop this on top of spaceship static mesh. So whenever the spaceship static mesh moves along with it, the bullet spawn point also moves, giving us the correct result. So if you play, see, now it's firing correctly. So our spaceship is moving, the bullets are also ready. 